Star Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Music is everything. Music is, it's a lifestyle. It's, uh, music has completely changed my life for the better. It's a, it's a, pa it's my passion and it's literally, I'm revolved around it in every way possible. From the morning all the way up to I go to sleep and even when I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming big. Honestly, bro, I'm hella, I feel like nervous to see it. I'm nervous. I bet. The first instrument I played was an electric guitar. It was electric guitar, and then I moved over to bass guitar, and then I started messing with acoustic guitar, which is essentially the same thing as an electric guitar, but just different acoustics and different sounds. But it's all the same. No, yeah, I know, bro. I'm just like I'm nervous to see it. Like I'm just like it's like seeing the new girl or something. I think by far this is like the best you may have Uh well I started doing this because um when I started playing probably like eighteen years ago, if I needed bass repairs and stuff, I had to go to a shop and get it done. And then when I realized how much they were charging me, <laughs> it was like for something super small ridiculous, it was like hundred, hundred and fifty dollars. And then I was like, Well, I just I watched him do it. And then I was like, I can do this at home. And then I kind of just started doing my own little thing instead of paying a shop to do it and, you know, kind of ripped me off. That's why I decided to just do it on my own. The main reason I played, I started playing Tolo. When I was in a grupo called Clave R, I was also doing a part-time job and I was working at the hospital at the time. And I was just, you know, it's funny because I was at the medical center and I was just scrolling through my Instagram and I just see this black face with two revolvers and just seeing those two revolvers, I was like, dude, that's out of this world. It just really caught my attention. The Tololoche wasn't as popular as it is right now. I mean, it's always been out there. It's always been a strong instrument, but in the Regional Mexicano, I feel like it wasn't as, but it's as trendy as it is right now. Uh, I see with my sound, well, I wouldn't just say my sound, thankfully to, to the help of the guys, Nitro, Ivan and Esteban, we've, been able to create a different sound so like I, I feel like we're able to grab into that aspect of that aggressiveness you know be like oh, those those were the guys going to estilo bien chingo bien you know like agresivo and to be going down as like leaving your own so your own sound your own mark I feel like that's pretty cool you know to to go down the in history in the regional Mexican and even other genres who knows building is what's your favorite part of this process i guess the ending when i see the customer pick it up because they're like not expecting <laughs> to see the final product God especially dang. sometimes we'll i'll sketch it out on the computer and it's just send them a little sketch and then when they see it in person it's just like to them it's unbelievable so i guess that's my favorite part of it just seeing them pick it up and be extremely happy Honestly, bro, yeah, hands down the best. Jesus. Damn, bro, and then the handlebars on the side too are crazy. Oh, this is bougie bougie then. Man, my first impression when I received this dolo was a very euphoric feeling. It was exciting. I was very excited. It's like picking up your first car for the first time ever. Seeing it for the first time was, I don't know, like, just beautiful. It was out of this world. In all honesty, it had me very, very excited. Honestly, the idea behind it was all in the works with my compa Checo. Checo was like, bro, I got these all these ideas. It's gonna be a killer bass. It's gonna be gangster. And honestly, I trusted him with the process. So he just had me, you know, waiting and because he wanted to surprise me with this Toro Loche so in all honesty I left all the ideas to him he knew I he knew that red was my favorite color so the rest is history yeah yeah I've always been kind of like the person that can see something and always kind of think outside the box I guess you could say this one was just a like a fluke I guess <laughs> I was trying to build it for an event I was doing and, and TJ 
which is funny because that's how I got Caesar the first one because I built it for that event and then he hit me up to buy it I built this one for that event and then he's taken this one as well <laughs> plays a role it's like apparel you know like it's your style so if you have something that's rocking with you and especially you know like having the looks that kind of represents you something that represents you like i think that's pretty dope and also like a, i believe a sound is very important so put those together and you have something pretty unstoppable look. primero dios i'm able to you know inspire other people to to be able to do that you know yeah, it's funny because people are always like, oh, why don't you open up your own shop? And I'm like, but I mean, it works in here. Like, yeah. why go pay rent for a shop? Why have that extra, you know, money where it's like, dude, I just do it in here and I'm at home. So it's like, I mean, the magic's here, so. <laughs> no, well, I want them to know that that Czech was going to be now doing a custom seize bases to to get an upgrade on on the revolver side so that that's open to the world now to the public to to be able to get something similar like this so i represent caesar love and expression el amor y, y la expresión wey that's it that's it seize base upgrade is now available with checo bases